I'm Ty Lowe and uh, I raise apples in Wilkes County and today I'm going to demonstrate chip budding which is uh, a way of uh, propagating apple trees uh, and uh, we use this uh, to uh, to reproduce apple trees of the same variety. Um, the uh, most important thing in chip budding is that the bud wood and the rootstock both be dormant. And you look on a place on rootstock that's fairly flat. And I'm looking here, and this is pretty flat, so it's about any place on this will work. And this is a chip budding tool. And then basically you place this in there and you position it and you wanna make sure you're not taking out too much of the wood right here. So you sort of squeeze and then sort of twist to make sure you're not taking out too much wood. Then you make the cut. And well, all you have the part where the bud is going into. Okay, the next thing you do is you look for your, your sign wood or the variety that you're trying to propagate and you look and try to match up size. And this looks pretty close to me. So I'm gonna take a bud off of here. And again, you're not cutting in the wood, you're cutting the bud out in the chip. So I'm looking right here and I'm gonna try to get this one and try to position this thing where it's close to the same size and the same cut. Okay, made the cut and we'll put the bud in and see how it fits. Sometimes you have to twist just a little bit to get it to go in. And we do have a problem with this bud. Uh, if you can see right here, does, can everybody see the little part of the bud there that's sticking out? Okay, it's not matching, okay? Now, I have two choices. If I'm doing a lot, I'm looking, I've got one side, two sides, three sides that are matching. So if I've got three sides, most of the time I go on and bud. But for today's purpose, I'm gonna try to cut right below this just a little bit deeper because I like the cut of my bud. So I'm gonna make one more cut and see if I can make it match just a little bit better. And we'll take this bud out and put it in here. And again, uh, it, it, it's matching up three sides. It's not really much better because I have one side, but as long as I've got three sides, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up. And one reason that chip budden works so good nowadays is because of this, I guess you call it, what type of tape would you say this is, Ron? Uh, it's called buddy tape, the brand. Buddy it. tape. And it's already perforated. So you take a piece off here, and then I guess taping is probably as delicate as anything. And I use two fingers to get it stopped, and I stretch it, and it goes around the bud, and ensuring that the bud hadn't moved. And then when I get it to where I like, I pull it, and I have another piece of tape to do another bud. That's long enough to probably do two buds. So one piece of tape will do that. And then just so the tree will look nice, we'll come in here and clip that and you have a chip budded tree. And just for information purposes, this is planted in the ground. Of course, it's still dormant, it would go dormant. What will happen in about two to three weeks time, you'll get the, uh, the uh, rootstock will start sprouting and you have to go in and remove the sprouts off the rootstock. And then in about, four weeks, four to five weeks, this bud, if it's gonna take, will pop through the bud and tape and come out. And the thing you have to do in the growing season is make sure you're moving all the suckers off of the rootstock so that the bud will, will, will thrive and outgrow the rootstock. Now I noticed on this from right here with your tape, uh -huh. like the bud's here and I got like maybe another bud here. So when this starts taking, will I come back and recut? Yes, and that's the, the you, you definitely want to cut you definitely want to cut above the bud if you do cut it out. Most time I don't have a, a, a second cut there, but you do want to cut above the bud so this will dry out and not get, so that the bud will stay good and moist in here even in the, in the, in the dormants, you still need to cut well above it. And then at, at when, this, when this bud breaks, you can come in here and actually cut right at the, the chip bud union. So like I know when uh, sometimes with grafting, we actually put like some wax on top of a cut, but as long as we cut far enough up, we're good. Yeah, and especially in chip budding, uh, you, you do not need to use wax. Okay then. When you're talking about a flat part of it, do yes. I, am I taking out a bud at the same time or just anywhere flat or backside of a bud? or Which is the best? Okay, on the rootstock, that's a good question. I have always took out a bud on the rootstock. Okay. 
Could you show us another one? Yeah, we'll do one more and see if I can match one up a little bit better. It's going to be a little higher this time. Does it make a difference whether it's higher or lower on that rootstock? Well, as far as where you put it on the, the, the rootstock, it, it, it takes, uh, the, the uh, union will take just about anywhere. It's just more convenient to where you want to plant that tree. Okay. So we, most of the time, I'm, I'm about six to eight inches above the rootstock. That's just how I've done it. You've got one, one side here is what I call, and another side up here, the depth of the cut. And then you've got the width of the cut right here, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four sides. That's what I call four sides to match up. And basically, I always recommend that you get three sides to match, and you've got a pretty good chance of that bud taking. Now, do you adjust the tool when you're working with a big one and then with a smaller one also? There's not a lot of adjustment to do okay. to it. Uh, it's, it's, it's all putting it in there. And, and this one matches up uh, really nice. It's got, uh, that one there is one that matches up just about on all four sides. When you're putting the bud in, be careful not to touch the bud itself from the sign because mashing on that bud can damage it. So I am gonna tape this one more time right here. And like I said, when I wrap this, you'll see my finger never it never touches that bud. In other words, I just get a good start and I just wrap the bud like that. And because this tape stretches and contacts to itself, you just sort of put your finger and roll it together. And that union is very tight. And that's why chip budding will work is because of this tape. Uh, that's the, I guess if anything's magic about it, it's the tape sealing the wound up and allowing that bud to, to callus and, and, and grow in with the rootstock. Have you used any other type of plastic or strips there or is like some, that? I didn't mean to interrupt you. There is some poly tape that you can use, uh, such as it's sort of like a waxy tape, and it works. This tape just seems to seal up just a little bit better, uh, and, and uh, it, it, it does deteriorate. I, I failed to mention that. And about, like I said, after that bud starts growing, you shouldn't have to cut the tape off. Uh, the first, my first year experience with this tape was it's going to choke the bud down because it's hot. When you plant this thing out in the field, you know, you sort of see sweat inside and you just wonder if that bud's going to get burned up. The first year I went with a, an X-Acto knife and went and cut the back and rolled it off. Uh, and, and sometimes if I see tape sticking, uh, there is a little trick too. If you're going to waste your time and cut the tape off, when you cut it, I still don't recommend cutting this off till that bud grows, but after you've made that cut and pull the tape off, you take a little knife, and even where the sign wood is, if you'll take that knife and just do a roll right above the bud, that will force it to come out, you know, if the, the tree is going to take or not by doing that, because in a week's time, if it's not out, it's not going to take. So uh, that's just a little trick that we do when we do have to take the tape off. Do y'all have any questions? Uh, the question was about the bud orientation, about is there a right way or wrong way to do the bud? Yes, and, and that's an excellent question. You definitely want to position the bud where that when it takes, it will be growing upright. Uh, because if you don't, what you'll have is, is an odd looking tree because if you turn it upside down, what the bud will do, and I've seen this because I've made mistakes myself, is the bud will go like this and grow up towards the sunlight. And then what happens is the, the, you say, well, you just got a crooked tree. Well, yeah, but then you also got a, uh, if you have wind blow after, that thing, after the apple get, tree gets older, you've got a much weaker uh, union that can cause it to break. And that what ha that's what happens sometimes if you put it upside down. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Ty.